Hi guys, this video is going to be a master bedroom makeover. I want to show you how we transformed this. into that. Now quick one, if you're new here, my name is Mwende Kimondo and on this channel we talk about a lot of home hacks, home styling tips, we talk about home decor stuff, we talk about DIYs, so please consider subscribing and joining our little online community. If you have already subscribed, welcome back and thank you for subscribing and let's get to it. The first step was a mood board. That will always be our first step. So I came again, saw the measurements. I did a vlog about measuring all these spaces. Got all the measurements for the room, saw the colors, and then went and created a mood board that I knew again would match with what the client wanted. Mild colors that would watch it match, watch, watch, match with this baby blue that they had. So I created two mood boards and then they went with one of uh, the mood boards that I had created. Second step was the virtual design. I did this again on Homestyler. Uh, Homestyler is an application on Chrome, a web application that you can use to do your styling uh, things or, yeah, it's a really, really good application in case you're not building anything, you're just designing. It's really good just for simple, simple design. So I used Homestyler. That design had gray, it had this baby blue and it had a navy blue as you can see, and it had uh, brown. As you will see, their bed is brown. The wardrobe has hints of that. So the brown was an in, in, inevitable. It was an inevitable, okay? And then, of course, the fourth step was going to shop for these things. You guys, I will just continue to shamelessly plug myself because why, why the shame? Why would you feel the shame? So I did videos on this, where to get carpets, where to get curtains, where to get light fixtures. And I'm going to attach all those videos for you here in succession. Please check it out. In case you're, you're on Instagram, my Instagram account is Mwende Kimondo. I, I have highlights on there about the whole thing as well. I have Instagram reels, I have Instagram posts that guide you when you go to Isli, how to just go about it, what buildings to go to, that whole thing. So go check it out. Shameless plug is over. All right, so the fourth step was, of course, the budget. I did a budget of the things we needed in this room, estimates of those numbers, and then just gave it to the client so that they would know the amount, the rough amount that we needed to work with. And I would actually be very pleased to say that I fell under the budget. I'm your guy, I'm your plug, I'm your, yeah, thank you, thanks. Make sure to stick to the very, very end of this video because at the end of this video, we're gonna talk numbers and I'm going to share with you the exact cost of everything that went into this bedroom, everything that we bought, everything that they did not have before this project. So I'm going to share that with you. Stick around to the very, 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 very end. Final step was of course now getting on the ground and getting all the work started. I'm going to tell you this story in terms of the first day, what we did, the second day, the third day, until it was finally complete. So day one guys, light fixture. Light fixture is going up on this day. As you can see, I brought
so day two guys what i wanted to do was just switch out the curtains as you can see they had greenish the curtains that did not really that weren't gonna work with the aesthetic we were going for so i was just switching this out and putting in the new curtains that we had gotten for this space So day three, what I wanted to do this day was just take out all the clutter. If you guys have seen, uh, I'm sure you've seen some of the clutter in the before clip I showed you earlier. So that's just what I wanted to take out. And then guys, the bedside tables were here. I, I loved this. I saw this on an Instagram shop that as usual, I may not remember the name clearly. Just go check it out on my Instagram. But I loved them and... I felt they were gonna like just fit perfectly into this space. Now, as you guys will notice, as we keep doing this whole thing, it did not turn out exactly as was in the virtual design, even for the living room makeover. And this is because as you tackle a project, things change. The client changes sometimes what they feel they would want. Um, as you tackle a project guys things really really change they go changing and you know the virtual design is not like cast on stone it's not like an unnegotiable so as you'll notice it's you'll see slight deviations from the virtual design because the virtual design was just to give us an idea give us an idea of where we were headed it was not to tie us down to take our hands and tie them down <laughs> I'm Marisa, twenty numbers. Let's talk numbers. The bedside tables that you can see here, I got them from an Instagram shop. I don't remember the name, guys. It was Weaver or Wicker. I, do, I really don't remember the, the, the shop. I think what I'll do is I will take pictures of these things, go to my Instagram, put a highlight called YouTube things. That's where it's going to be. So just go check it out. Mwende Kimondo is the handle for Instagram. So for most of these things that I don't remember the name, I'll go try search them on instagram and just tag them and then you can go check it out over there okay shameless plug all over the place yeah that's how i do it that's how we do it bedside tables went for eight thousand four thousand per bedside tables i'm gonna be inserting these clips just in case you guys cannot see them the main light fixture went for four thousand again video about it shameless blank click here check it out after you're done with this video that is it's also going to be in the description box by the way in case you want to see it from there the bulbs were three and they were 400 so that came to 1200 the light fixture for the wall was 1800 the bulbs the bulbs it's one bulb christy the one bulb came to 400 it's also like one of those pretty creative bulbs so it was 400 the duvet cover was 2500 it was the duvet cover plus a sheet plus two pillowcases it came to 2500 an instagram shop again i'm really not sure i can't remember the name just check out on my highlights okay i'll try to remember and find them there the bedside lamps i got each at 3000 and i got them from house of leather and then the bulbs for the bedside lamps i got them at 100 bob per piece the sheets from east lee again shameless plug is gonna be here in the cards or down in the description box were 450 per piece so that came to 900 pillowcases from miss lee were also 300 bob for the pair and then the small carpets that are going the bedside carpets really were 1500 per piece from miss lee again shameless plug i'm tired of shamelessly plugging myself check it out in the cards or it's gonna be in the description box or on my instagram page whichever works for you the curtains this window was 1.3 meters so we went with five meters of the fabric for the curtain, which then made that into 4,000. And then we went for, with four meters for the blinder, which made that 1,600. Of course, this is not including the prices for the tailor. The, the tailors charge 100 bob per meter. So for the curtain, it was 500 per meter. And for the blinder, it was 400 per meter. So the labor for that came to about 900. Of course, there's those discs check out my video check out i don't want to repeat because your time is valuable okay laundry basket was four thousand i got it from an instagram shop the same shop that i got the bedside 
tables from i just can't seem can't the name is not here right now okay guys so the total for this project came to about thirty two thousand one hundred. so if you add those tailor costs and things like that it came maybe to thirty five thousand. as i said on my living room makeover video for this project by the way if you have not checked that out i have plugged myself so shamelessly to this point i don't even know i don't even know what to tell you i don't even know i know how to deal with you at this point as i said in my living room makeover um, this project is a little bit on the higher end, although the bedroom was not really as costly, but it's a little bit on the higher end. As we keep seeing, like I have an upcoming project, an upcoming makeover that in the bedroom we're not going to purchase a bed. We're going to make a bed from pallets from scratch. We're going to make a bedside table from scratch. So please make sure to stick around for that. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So that when that stuff starts to land on you, you will be ready to receive. You will be ready to receive. I really want to show you that you can make a bedroom look this pretty with the budget that we had for 35,000, with the budget maybe for 10,000. You can, you really can make any space so beautiful on whatever budget you have. You just have to be willing to, you know, just, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, as usual, I'm going to leave you with just a few beautiful shots of this room i loved how it came out the client absolutely loved it and i hope you guys love it too please comment on whatever tweaks you would have done on this room just to you know whatever different ideas you'd have had i'd really love to hear those i think you guys' input is always so there's something there's something there about it about you guys chunyamaji your interior designers me i yeah so please comment on what you would have done differently and until next week guys bye as long as my eyes are covered, I can't see you, I assume you cannot see me.